Hey, what's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome back to my Sailor Moon YouTube channel. Back in April, I went on a trip to Japan and it was specifically for the Osaka Sailor Moon Museum and to check out all the new manhole covers. One of the perks of being there at that time was also being able to go to the Sailor Moon store during their brand new reopening because it was just renovated. Now I will be posting separate videos specifically about the manhole covers, the Osaka Sailor Moon Museum, the Sailor Moon Cafe, and the renovated Sailor Moon store. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see those videos because each one will be a walkthrough. But for today, I have a really exciting video of my Sailor Moon Japan haul that came home in my suitcase. I only did one suitcase this time and one backpack, so I had very limited storage room in my bags in order to take things home. So I did not go as ham as I did back in October when I went to Japan last time, but I still I still was, I was able to fit a lot of things in that suitcase, even though it was a carry-on. I am a Tetris queen. I am a champion Tetriser. So I'm gonna show you everything that I brought home today. Okay, so this first item I wanted to show you actually came from the online Pretty Guardian fan club membership in Japan. This is the deluxe version of the brand new Sailor Moon Raison Artworks book. The Sailor Moon Raison Artworks book from the fan club, if you got the deluxe version. If you got the regular version, it came with a clear file which has pink text up at the top and it features the outer Sailor Guardians on the back of it, like so. And if you ordered the deluxe version, which I decided to order that one as well, then that one comes with the fan club clear file as well, the same clear file. And it also comes with this little set, which includes a plastic slip cover as well as a regular cover for your art book. So there is a really nice little jacket or sleeve that your artworks book will come in. And this is a really pretty sleeve on its own. However, the fan club deluxe version is a holographic sleeve for your artworks book. So it's pretty much exactly the same artworks book, but it just comes with a different jacket, which you can slip around your book. And also included with the deluxe edition is this plastic slip cover. So this slip cover just slides onto your book and keeps it protected on three sides. One side is open so that you can actually slip it onto your book. This is the plastic slip cover. Now I am going to be posting a short video showing you exactly how to install those items on your artworks book in case you are a little confused or you ordered this from my Sailor Snub Sales Instagram proxy service because I was selling a few of these too. So I will walk you through the process so that you don't end up like damaging your book in any way. But moving on for now. Also if you haven't seen my two videos about the Rison artworks book definitely watch those two. I go into the pros and cons of the book, the pricing, where you can purchase it from and I also do a flip through of all the different pages. I also decided to compare it to one of my old art books too because I have all of those so I was able to compare it to one of them and show you like the differences in sizing and the print and all that good stuff. Okay, moving on. There's a whole travel series available at the Sailor Moon store. This sold out super fast online. So luckily I was able to get a lot of this in hand. There were four items included in this set. One of those items is a passport holder. This passport holder has the Crystal Star Compact on the front of it here. When you open it, it has space for your passport as well as any additional files or receipts for taxes or whatever you want to put in there. There's a cute silhouette of Sailor Moon on the inside and I really appreciate that it's embroidered and it's not painted on to this fake leather. This was also a must have with the travel series from the Sailor Moon store. This is a luggage tag so we have the same image on the front. It's also made out of very similar leather and we have this luggage tag information like personal information that you can fill out on the back and you open that by just sliding out that little card from the top of it. These must be popular right now or something because I also got one of these from the Mofusan store, uh, which I am doing an unboxing and a review of all the non-Sailor Moon items I got from Tokyo and from Japan in general. So subscribe if you want to watch that video too. I had like cat hair in my mouth or something. I don't know. It's like so common in this room. There's cat hair everywhere. Okay, so this is a smartphone pochette. At least that's how it's advertised. It's basically a crossbody bag that you can put your smartphone in. Now, one thing I want to test is will my smartphone fit because I have one of the biggest smartphones that you can currently purchase and it does yes it's wide enough 
I'm so happy about that. So this smartphone pochette has a pocket on the front and there is also a matching pocket on the back. There's of course similar art embroidered on the front of this smartphone pochette too. There's a strap so you can use it as a crossbody and there's a zippered component. What's in here? So it's just a simple little place where you can put like more important little items you can put them in there. That's so useful, I love it. Because I destroy these things so fast because I travel so much, I got a second luggage tag because I knew I would use it. And this is a travel pouch. So I don't know what goes on in here. Oh, I see. Oh wow, that's, that's really nice. That's pretty. Okay, so this travel pouch has a zippered compartment on the front cover as you open it, as you slide it open. There's also this really big interior section. Oh, it has a drawstring. Hey, that's cool. <gasps> How useful. You could put like all your bathroom necessities in here. I don't know, that's kind of a huge pouch for bathroom necessities. Maybe all your clothes and then you could tighten the drawstring to put all your clothes in here. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use this for, but I will definitely use it. It's kind of nice though, that it has this like big interior pocket where you can lay all your items. And then you can just drawstring it closed, zipper it closed. And there's also a little handle on the top. That's so useful. When you go to the Sailor Moon store in Tokyo or the one down in Osaka, if you wanna pay for one, they will give you one of these really nice Sailor Moon store bags. So I did end up getting a couple of the Sailor Moon store bags, which I really like their shopping bags. They're really nice and high quality. They get a little heavy if you buy a lot of stuff, but they're really nice to like store things in and they come and they're nice, like thick plastic. One of the very few items that I purchased from the Sailor Moon store down in Osaka, because it, I ended up going through there and I was like, I have most of these things already, but I didn't have this. This is the brand new brilliant color edition of the Moonstick. Now this is a proplica, just like the previous proplica that I have on my, on my shelf behind me. So I can shoot a comparison video for y'all if you're interested in that. Uh, Sailor Tortilla did a wonderful comparison over on Instagram, so I highly recommend watching that too, because we always tend to have like differing opinions, but we always have really good opinions on these products. So definitely watch her video too. If you never got a chance to get the original Moonstick Proplica, now you have a second chance. You can get one of these new brilliant color editions. So I am very curious to unbox this and check out and do a comparison video of it. I'm very interested to compare it to my original Proplica that I've had for several years. So this is gonna be really fun to check out and see how it looks in person. Yes, my box did get a little bit squished in my carry-on, but that's okay. I am a collector that likes to unbox things, so I don't really mind if there's a little bit of damage on the box. It's no big deal for me. So if you see that damage, don't worry. You don't have to tell me in the comments. I know it's there, it's fine. <laughs> this is the limited edition clear file that you could get from the Sailor Moon store if you ordered or if you purchased the art book from the Sailor Moon store in Tokyo. So at the top we have gold foil and this is very similar to the pink foil one. It's just different text, different color text. So now I have all the bonus items, all the little extras that you could get with the artworks book, which I'm very excited about. Gotta catch them all. Okay, we need to have a little discussion about the promo photos that Sailor Moon store posts online and that Sailor Moon official posts online because I saw these hair clips and I was like, oh, little hair clips that chances are they won't work in my hair because my hair is so thick and naturally curly. I just straighten it all the time. Actually in person, when I saw these in person, I was like, oh, those are really nice and they're metal. They're not plastic. I need these. So I bought two of both of them. They're sold out online. So glad I got these in person because I'm very, very impressed with the quality of these hair clips. Like randomly, some of my favorite items that I got in Japan, I was not expecting to love these so much, but I did. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you look at the promo photos of these online, they look dinky. They look plastic, they look cheap, they look small. But when you see them in person, they're metal. Like you can probably hear that in the microphone. They're really nice metal and they're big. So this is one without the packaging on it. 
This one fe features, of course, the Kaleido Moon Scope, and it's got really nice metal clips, metal claw teeth on the sides. It's got a nice spring-loaded clamp, and there's some cute little gemstones on it. There's one in the center of the Kaleido Moon Scope, and then we have a couple of different colored gems along the sides, and those are on both sides too, so it doesn't matter which side you're looking at the hair clip from, you're gonna see the gemstones on both sides. And then we have the Cutie Moon Rod, and this one very similarly also has cute gemstones gemstones here, here, and here. It has this really nice high quality image of the cutie moon rod and it's got the same image on both sides. Again, we have lots and lots of nice teeth on both sides. They don't feel like they're going to break. So this is a really, really nice hair clip. I would definitely say if these go back in stock and you ever have trouble with hair clips, if you're like me, you have thick, curly, coarse hair, definitely keep an eye out for a restock of these because they are very, very nice. The Sailor Moon store often comes out with this very inexpensive like hair accessories and necklaces and bracelets and rings and things of that nature. So I was excited to get this necklace and bracelet, both of which I do not own already. So I was pretty excited to have these. At least I don't think I have this one. If I do, I'll just put it on my sales page. But I really like this one, the Crystal Star. And of course we have the Cosmic Heart Compact. This is a beautiful hair accessory. However, now that I'm seeing it in person after I bought it excitedly, I'm not sure if this will fit in my hair or not. I will have to try it, but if it doesn't fit, then I'll put it up on my sales page. <laughs> I also really, really like these two items. We have a hairpin, a very simplistic hairpin, and then we also have this necklace. And both of these feature, of course, the time key, Pluto's time key, the one that she gives to Chibiusa. These are both very, very pretty and sold out very quickly online. So I was really happy to see that they had stock in the store. Some other items that I picked up include this acrylic keychain or key holder of Usagi and Chibiusa. These always come with a really cute postcard on the back. This pretty dense and pretty heavy key holder of the transformation pen. It's really pretty, love it. Also sold out very quickly online, so happy I saw this in, in person. I have one of these already, but you, you can never have too many. This is a freebie that you can get from the Sailor Moon store if you purchase a specific amount of items. Now you get these by filling out these point cards. These point cards are given to you when you purchase a specific amount of items. Uh, once you hit there, I think you have to do them in, in 2000 yen increments and then they'll mark off another star. So once you hit enough, you can turn one of these point cards in and get yourself a freebie. Obviously I go shopping there a lot because I have a lot of point cards. <laughs> the Sailor Moon store is also currently giving out this freebie which is it's not a sticker I thought it was a sticker but it turns out it's a card it's numbered number 000 which makes me wonder if they're gonna do more of these in the future and change the art on the front of them this one 000 I wonder if the next one we get is gonna be 001 I'm curious I bet you that's what they're gonna do they're just gonna keep on releasing these cards as little freebies from the Sailor Moon store I love the hollow detail on these I love the sparkly stars they're very very pretty and they have that new museum art that you see from Naoko Takuchi featured and promoted on all the museum advertisements now. This acrylic stand of the 1990s anime version of Black Lady was a must-have for me. I love this style of Black Lady. I think she's so pretty and I thought this would look great on my Black Lady shelf. I have a whole shelf dedicated to her now and I think it looks so cool. So I think this is gonna look really good on that shelf. This was another one of those items that sold out really, really quickly. So I'm happy that I have it now. Let's open this. I don't remember what I purchased. Oh yeah, it's so pretty and blingy. It's so beautiful. I found this at the Sailor Moon store. I, I'm not sure if it was a Sailor Moon store specific item, like limited edition. It might be, I'll have to check online. It does say Sailor Moon Cosmos, the movie. So I have a feeling this came out last summer when the movies came out, 925CZ Cubic Zirconium. So that's a pretty nice little necklace. It's got a very, very sparkly gemstone in the center and little gems along the edges to feature each of the Sailor Guardians. It's really pretty. And I like this rose gold color. I have a lot of items in plastic. I had skipped these when they originally came out, but when I was at the Osaka store, they actually had full boxes unopened that included 
made all of the characters. So since I didn't have to risk getting a bunch of duplicate blind bags or blind boxes, I just decided to get the full box set because that's basically what I wanted is just one of each. This set is called the Mega Cat Project and it features all of these little miniature cat versions of the inner guardians plus tuxedo mask plus queen barrel. There's also an outer guardian set as well. So of course you could get these as blind bags, but I just appreciated being able to get the box instead. This is the display box too. So it's really cute and I love the design on the box itself. Here are each of the kitties. I'll show you them one by one. Here we have Sailor Moon. Of course she has the cutest little ears and a little nubbin for her tail. Sailor Mercury has the little flat ears. So, so cute. I love her. Sailor Mars, I feel like her being a calico is so perfect because my calico is quite, she's got quite a personality on her. So having Sailor Mars as a calico cat kind of makes sense. Sailor Jupiter is this adorable little long haired kitty. That makes sense too. <laughs> then we have this little yellow cat, which is Sailor Venus. We have Tuxedo Mask and he is dressed up to the nines. Absolutely adorable. And he has his little tail down there. So his tail isn't cut off. It's actually underneath his cape. I love that there's little cutouts for his ears. So cute. And then we have Queen Barrel, and she is this adorable kitty with this big bushy tail, which that makes sense too. I love it. All of these are, are so perfect for these different characters. Now each of these little kitties also comes with a backdrop, so you can feature them in front of this backdrop, or you can take pictures of them with the Mega Cat Project backdrops. So these are folded up inside the boxes when you unbox them. Here we have Tuxedo Mask, Mercury, Mars, Sailor Moon, Queen Barrel, Sailor Jupiter, and Sailor Venus. Moving on, the Sailor Moon store recently released a series of Omamori, or Lucky Charms, just for the Sailor Moon store. So they are exclusives. This one had sold out online, so I really wanted to get it. I was keeping an eye out for this thing. I was stalking the Sailor Moon store on Twitter, and luckily they had a ton of these in stock at the actual physical store. So I picked up one for me, since since they sold out online so quickly. I was really happy that they had these in stock. Along with all the really exciting renovation merchandise that Sailor Moon Store came out with, they also came out with this really, really pretty tote. This is like a satiny material for this tote, so it's kind of shiny. And it has some embroidery text on the front and the back. I like it because it features 1990s era art of Sailor Moon and the Inner Guardians, and it's two-sided and both sides are different. So this is the front side, which features Sailor Moon all by herself. The bag itself has a lavender colored interior. Also love that. And there is a specific pocket for things like your keys, if you want. The back of this tote bag says the Moonlight's a messenger of love and it has the four inner guardians. I kind of love everything about this tote bag. Like this is so my era. This is so my aesthetic. It's beautiful and I love that it kind of matches my room too. This gradient color scheme is so gorgeous as well. I'm just quite I'm quite a fan of this tote bag. I really, really like it. And I don't really collect musical merchandise, but I do collect these clear files that they come out with for each of the shows, mainly because they come out with a manga clear file with the main cast. So in this case, we have the main cast clear files. We have one for Team Moon and one for Team Star because there's two different casts depending on which night you go to watch the show. Unfortunately, I was not able to see the musical while I was in Japan. I just didn't have enough time. And this is the gorgeous clear file that you get as a bonus with those two clear files, which features some manga art. So I can add these to my collection. I'm a wine girl. I like my wine, especially red wine. That's my favorite. So I saw these stainless steel tumblers and I was like, I'm gonna need those. So I ended up getting one of each. Hopefully these release online. I haven't seen them available online yet, except through the fan club and they sold out immediately. So I wasn't able to get any extras. And these were the only ones I could fit in my carry-on. So this one features a pink gradient and it has chibis of all of the Sailor Guardians all the way around. It's very, very cute, love it. And I appreciate that it's stainless steel. This one features a manga image of Usagi and Luna on the front and you spin it around and you have Luna on the back, also pink gradient. And then we have a blue gradient one, and this one features all of the Sailor Guardians on the front in their adult forms, not chibis. And on the back we have 
Luna. I think all of these tumblers are very, very pretty and it's no wonder they sold out so quickly online because everybody can use a stainless steel tumbler, can't we? Okay, I did want to say a huge props and thank you and shout out to Cincy Raz who ended up trading me one of these when I had a duplicate for his Eternal Sailor Pluto. So I was able to get an entire set of these beautiful Aurora keychains. So these are only available through the Sailor Moon store and the Pretty Guardian fan club. The fan club sold out again immediately. However, these are still available in stock at the Sailor Moon store if you can get to Tokyo, which a lot of us cannot. So we were hoping that these would be available online. They are acrylic and these feature some beautiful art from Naoko Takeuchi. These are manga art, so they're absolutely gorgeous and something that you don't necessarily see very often. Anytime I see manga art merchandise, it sells out so quickly because everybody wants manga art. So these are Aurora keychains, which mean that they have this beautiful Aurora acrylic used for the front and the back. So we have each of the different Sailor Guardians as well as the Sailor Starlights. Here's the Sailor Starlights, all three of which are beautiful. Here's the inner guardians. All of them are gorgeous. Now these were blind bags if you bought them one by one, uh, which is exactly what I did. I was able to purchase 13 in total in one sale at the Sailor Moon store. That was their limit. So that's what I bought. And luckily I did not get a lot of duplicates. So I was able to complete a full set. So here are the outer guardians plus Chibi Yusa or Chibi Moon. All of them are so, so pretty. It is no wonder these sold out so quickly online. Interestingly, the Sailor Moon store started selling items that you could only get in places like China, Hong Kong, Taiwan. So anytime they had one of those pop-ups, those items usually were exclusive to those Asian countries. But now the Sailor Moon store is selling some of that stuff. These are a couple of those items, a couple of really pretty canvas boards that were only available at a pop-up shop in one of the Asian countries. And I don't remember which one, but I was able to pick up a couple of these and they're really beautiful. They're like wood blocks and they come with stands. So great for a display. And then I got a slew of items from Mandrake and other used stores. Oftentimes I find that these items are sold used or at discounted prices, but they're brand new. That was the case for these two plushies. I got a Luna plushie. This is from a series of plushies that I've slowly been collecting over the past like decade. This is from the 20th anniversary. So yeah, they've been around for about a decade now. Uh, very cute plushies. And I also picked up this Black Lady one, which is from the same release. And she's very, very cute. I love these plushies. They're gonna go great with the rest of that line. So adorable. I didn't even know those existed. And then I saw them and I was like, oh, I have other ones from the same plushie line. I might as well get those too. Video games are not really a hot commodity. I can find them pretty often whenever I go to places like Mandrake or Surugaya. So I picked up a couple of new games. This one is for Super Famicom. This is a Sailor Moon Supers fighter game. So really excited to check it out. Here's the back of it. I don't believe I have this one yet. So I was pretty excited to have it. And the nice thing is even though the packaging looks kind of damaged, it did come with the collectible card. So the card did come in the box. I made sure to check. I had them open the box just to make sure that it was in there and it was. I was very excited about that. I also picked up this Super Famicom game and I know absolutely nothing about it, but it looks kind of like a Candy Crush type of game or a Tetris style game. It does have the chibi characters and it looks like it's from Sailor Moon Stars. Uh, the design is a little bit different. It says on the side of it, Sufani Turbo. So what does that mean? Does anybody know? Can you tell me more about this packaging? And if if this is because it's a little bit different from other Super Famicom games that I own. But what makes it different? I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know if the cartridge is the same, but I would assume it is since it's listed with the same console. So I don't know. We'll see. I actually did not get too many used or previously owned items this time around. I was mainly focused on getting stuff from the Sailor Moon Museum and the Sailor Moon stores since they had a lot of new merch. But I did find a few really cute items and I was like, I want this. So I found this really cute Pegasus plushie. This is not
not the super famous plushie that everybody is dying to get from the vintage toy collection, but this is a very cute, inexpensive one. He was only like $16 or something, so very, very inexpensive. I will have to do a little bit of work on his horn because all the paint came off, as well as the crystal on the front of his head. So I'll have to modify him a little bit, but I think he's really cute. I love my Pegasus plushie. So I recently posted from the Sailor Moon Museum because I saw this series of gachapons and I was like, what series is this? What is this from? Because they're huge. They're really big gachapons. Turns out they were gachapons, but they're extremely hard to find. So if you do find them, you should get them. So I think this is called series, the series five Sailor Moon item gachapons or something like that, but they feature the outer senshi talismans as well as the silence glaive. And I want to say the Holy Moon Chalice or the Rainbow Moon Chalice. I want to say those are the items that's included, uh, but I'll have to look it up just to make sure, to clarify. I saw this one available at a Mandrake. Didn't know what it was, so I didn't pick it up. And I was just like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't really need that in my collection, so I skipped it. But it was pretty inexpensive. It was like, what was this? 3,600 yen, but with the exchange rate, that's pretty inexpensive. Because apparently this full set goes for like 100 bucks on eBay or some ridiculous number like that. I also found the Silence Glaive for 1,200 yen, which I thought was insane. So I gave that to my best friend because she collects Sailor Saturn items. And then at the end of my trip, I went back to the same Mandrake and they still had this in stock. Nobody had purchased it. So I got that one. And I also was able to get the space sword, Sailor Uranus's sword. So cool. It's really big. And I got Neptune's mirror, the deep aqua mirror. So in, in the time that I had a week before I went back to that same store in Tokyo, uh, they ended up getting the space sword and Neptune's mirror. So I was just like, I'll get all three. Why not? So now the only ones I'm missing from that Gashapon series is the silence glaive, because I gave that one to my friend, and the rainbow moon chalice. And that's it. I don't have the price on this one anymore and the space sword was 1800 yen so not too bad i'm sure that i could probably find cheaper if i wasn't going to mandrake but i know that they have good condition items whenever i do go there so i didn't really have to think twice about like oh is this a good condition one or blah 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 they were fine this namco crane game was going on last time i was in japan in october but i didn't get a chance to play it however i did find a whole bunch of these clear files at a sudugaya i think it was a sudugaya and they were all discounted they were like 20% off, which was awesome. Some of them, 30% off. So great deal on these acrylic figures. I love them. I think they're so cute. So these are all Namco edition acrylic figures. There was a collaboration that happened with Namco. So here we have Amy. I was also able to find Sailor Saturn or Hotaru. And I got Setsuna and I got Makoto and Sailor Neptune. So now I'm only missing like four or five of them and then I'll have the complete set. Really cool. I was very excited to find those. And last but not least, least out of my used or pre-owned items. Uh, I did not keep the boxes for these two because the coupons kits are so common and it, there's really no reason to keep the boxes in my opinion. So I tossed all of them. I ended up finding Eternal Sailor Uranus. She's pretty common, very easy to find right now, very inexpensive. And I found Sailor Mercury. I believe both of these were around a thousand or 1200 yen. So like nine bucks, it, they were very, very cheap. So I was really excited to get those and add them to my coupon kit collection. So last but not least, I have some Gashapon items as well as everything that I got from the manhole cover discovery <laughs> tour. It was a self-guided tour. The Sailor Moon Cafe, Sailor Moon Museum, and I have a Tamashi Nations figure. I will show you her first. So the box that she came in was really boring. So I ended up recycling the box while I was in Japan. I decided not to pack it because it was big and it was boring. I was not intending to display her in the box. This is the special color edition of Sailor Moon. This came out just a short while back and this color edition is only available in the Tamashi Nations stores. I don't know if she's available in New York yet, but you can find her at the Tokyo store, which is in Akihabara. So as soon as we got to Akihabara, we had a hotel there. As soon as we landed and checked in, we were like, let's run around Aki. Let's go shopping around Akiba. So that's exactly what we did. The very first stop was the Tamashi Nation store because I was like, they better have something Sailor Moon because in October they had nothing. They had absolutely nothing in that store. It was so disappointing. This time they had SH figure arts. They had the mini figures. 
they had her. They also had a couple of proplicas. So it was like a total 360 from what they had back in October. I was very happy. I was super excited about finding her, especially for yen. So she was a great price in Japan. <laughs> if you wanna see a comparison of this figure versus the original, oh wow. Oh, you know what, side by side, they do look a little bit different. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> she looks so much like the original one in the store. I was just like, I don't know if she's worth it, but I ended up buying one anyway. Hey. She does look different when you put them side by side. So I'm happy to see that. But if you wanna see a comparison of her versus the old figure, let me know. I'm more than happy to do a comparison. I am obsessed with Gashapons, especially ones that do a Sanrio collaboration. So I found some really cute Gashapons. I think I found this one at Mandrake. I don't remember, but she was very inexpensive and super adorable and cute. So I grabbed her. I love being able to just grab these cuties instead of doing blind bags. It's so much faster. And then I got this collection of outer Sailor Guardians with Sanrio characters. So here we have Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Saturn, Sailor Pluto, and we have Sailor Chibi Moon. Uh, also included in this set is the Sailor Starfighters. Uh, love that we have Kurobi and Baditz Maru included. So cute. Adorable. So of course we have Sailor Star Fighter, Healer, and Maker. And I gotta say, Sailor Star Maker getting that Gashapon was very, very difficult. I spent a lot of money at the Gashapons in Akihabara just trying to get Sailor Star Maker. I probably would not have spent that much if I was just purchasing her secondhand, but I, yeah, I spent a lot of 100 yen coins just to get that one. <laughs> so I have a lot of duplicates of these. If you want one, let me know. They're available on my sales Instagram. Okay, I think everything else here is museum items except for, yeah, museum and cafe. But I did wanna show you these items from the manhole cover. I will reiterate a lot of this information when I go over the manhole covers in detail on a manhole cover tutorial video showing you how to find them. But these are a couple of freebies that you can pick up from the Tourism Information Center, which is in Minato District in Tokyo. You can find it on Google Maps, but I will give you a tutorial in a separate video again. This is the first freebie that you can get, which is a flyer that features the manhole covers on the front. They only give you one per person. So if you got a friend that doesn't collect Sailor Moon, like bring them with you to the Tourist Information Center so that you can get more than one. Like mine is a little bent up at the top and I'm kind of sad that like I would be so disappointed if I got this home and it was bent in any way I'd be like man I wish I could have had multiples of these so I could like you know frame one and then keep the rest keep another one in a file folder or something like that so on the inside of this you do get a map that shows you exactly where to find all of the manhole covers Luckily, when I went, they still had some of these in stock. This is a local newspaper from the Minato district about what's going on locally. It's just like anybody else. It's, it's just like any other city's local newspaper. So this one has the manhole covers on the front of it. Great for collectors. Love that I was able to collect this item, especially because it has the date up at the top. I, I just love it. I think that's so cool. If you're wondering what's inside this newspaper or if you want more information about where you can find these or what they are in general, like why am I talking about manhole covers, then definitely subscribe down below and keep an eye out for my tutorial video. I'm excited to post that because I never thought in 2024 that I'd be talking about, you know, manhole covers. Like what? What is my life? This is so weird. <laughs> I took this off of a dessert at the Sailor Moon Cafe that I had purchased because the ribbon, it was pretty. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the Sailor Moon Cafe real quick. I am doing a separate video detailing the cafe and doing a review of the food so you know like what you should order when you're there because not everything tastes good, let me tell you. <laughs> Fandom cafes. Whew, they are hit or miss. <laughs> I'll tell you, they are hit or miss. The Sailor Moon Cafe had some really interesting freebie items that you could get whenever you purchased entrees or drinks or desserts. So if you get drinks, you would get a coaster. And usually these coasters are pretty cheap. They're like cardboard. 
in this case, I was able to get these really cool coasters and I noticed that they're made out of like, like acrylic or something. They're made out of like cardstock, but it's covered in plastic or it might be acrylic actually. I don't know what they're made out of. Ooh, this one's sticky on the back. I need to wipe that off. Luckily you can wipe them off because they're made out of this nice plastic material. So I ended up getting all 10. I put them in a coaster album that I got from the Square Enix Cafe. I didn't go to the Square Enix Cafe. I just went to the store and I saw this and I was like, I'm using that not for the Square Enix coasters that you get for the Final Fantasy theme. I'm using this for the Sailor Moon coasters that I'm gonna get at the Sailor Moon Cafe. <laughs> so here's my Square Enix coaster binder. <laughs> And these are the 10 uh, different characters that you could collect for coasters from the Sailor Moon Cafe. So you get all the inner guardians, you get Sailor Chibi Moon and the outer guardians. They say you shouldn't trade. Oh yeah, and then I have an extra Sailor Mercury and an extra Sailor Saturn. Wait a minute, how did I get an extra Sailor Saturn? That's my friend's coaster. I must have put it in here to protect it on the way home, but oh, I'll have to get that to her. <laughs> I do have an extra Sailor Mercury though, but these are beautiful. Love that they're all manga, manga art. So really, really pretty. This would be so pretty to put them all in a frame given that they're all stars. That would be just gorgeous. I love it. Go to the cafe if you have the opportunity. The other items that they were giving away at the cafe were placemats, but they're more like thick paper posters. There's nothing about these that screams placemat. They are posters and there's three of them that you could collect. So I'll show you all three. I'm gonna be really careful with them. I don't want them to bend. I wanna frame these cause they're so beautiful. So here we have this one, which features the original Sailor Moon Museum art. And this is a really, really pretty piece of paper. Uh, it was kind of a shame that these are paper and they're not like plastic placemats because they are putting them on, you know, tables that you're gonna eat your food at. So when I was in Japan, I met up with another creator, his name is Jerome, and he was like, oh, we're going to Daiso to pick up some poster sleeves, like poster clear files. And I was like, what is that? So he introduced me to some items in Daiso that I'm definitely buying every single time I'm in a Daiso now, because these are so useful for storing these things, especially if you need to take them home from a trip to Japan. So I'll show you that in just a second. This is the last one, the one that I really wanted to get. So I was very happy that I was able to get all three of the placemats. And if you do get the opportunity to go to a Daiso in Japan, pick up one of these A3 size clear file folder storage items, like folder, whatever, display. I don't know what these things are called, but it's A3 size. You can find them with all the other like folder and file items. This one in particular, I don't even know. Like there were a bunch of different ones that you could pick up. I like this one cause it's it's a little floppy, but it, it was also big enough to store three of them in one. They are so inexpensive and such a great way to store and keep your placemats safe. Highly recommend if you are going to that cafe or if you're just going to any other Sailor Moon event and you're intending to pick up some posters because these fit these little A3 ones perfectly. So that was the Sailor Moon Cafe right next door on the same floor at this Namba Parks Museum place was the Sailor Moon Museum for 2024. These might be sold out by this point, but when I went, I was able to get these freebies upon entry. I mean, they're not really freebies because you paid more for a ticket if you wanted one of these upon entry, but these are some really cute keychains that they were giving away at the door that you had to buy a specific ticket for, so they might be sold out by this point. I was very excited to get two of them. My friend's husband went and he was like, I don't, I don't want this. So I was able to get an extra one from him since I bought the tickets for everybody. I also picked up several copies of this flyer. I always like to have duplicates of the flyers on hand because I like to collect these. I have a whole binder full of flyers or advertisements from all the events that you can go to in Japan. Really pretty flyer. These were free. They were just available. Oh yeah, if you go to the museum cafe, this surrounds one of the items that you can order, like a dessert. Uh, it's fairly sticky. I need to cut off the sticky sides of it and wipe it down but this is like this really pretty plastic obi that goes around one of the items so definitely pick that up there is a new clear file available at the sailor moon museum this year this is what the front of it looks like it's really 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 beautiful the back of it says pretty it probably says pretty soldier sailor moon that's my guess that is an educated guess right there and then there's a mini clear file that's included in the bag with it 
in this envelope of Black Lady. So that's the brand new image of Black Lady that we've been seeing advertised like everywhere for the Sailor Moon Museum. There are a couple of new acrylic stands that are available this year. There's one with the Inner Guardians and one with the Outer Guardians, and both of them are really gorgeous when you set them up. My best friend got one too of the Outers, and it's so pretty. I was very impressed. There's a couple of new postcard sets. This is the first postcard set, which features really gorgeous new prints of Usagi and Mamoru. There's one of just Princess Serenity by herself. There's a Sailor Moon one, which is this piece right here. And then we have the Black Lady one. So beautiful postcard set. There's also this postcard set, which is exclusive to the Osaka Sailor Moon Museum, apparently. I wanna open this one because I forget what all four of those postcards look like. I really appreciate that you can take off the plastic and not destroy the packaging because this is very, very pretty packaging that I wanted to keep. So first we have this Usagi and Mamoru print, really pretty. Then we have this one of Princess Serenity or Neo Queen Serenity. Uh, this one was originally shown as a piece of art during the exhibition in 2016. I believe that was the first time. But now we get to see the full piece of art and we also get to see the gorgeous flowers that were added on. That was a Naoko Takeuchi Photoshop piece of art. Now we know from the artworks, pretty cool. And we also have these ones. So here's one of Usagi and Tuxedo Mask or Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask and this beautiful artwork of all the Sailor Guardians. And this is a new piece. It looks like old art, but it's actually a new, newly designed piece of old, older art. Pretty postcard set, really like it. Okay, I know you see these, I'm getting to them, I promise. This is a full set of the new blind bags. Uh, this was pretty tough to get all of them, but luckily, but big shout out to Travis who ended up trading one of his for mine while we were at the Sailor Moon Museum. So I was able to get a full set. So super grateful to him for setting me up with a full set and very happy I was able to meet up with other fans there. So I was able to complete so many blind bags while I was in Japan. That was so fun. So we have Sailor Moon with a gorgeous gemstone behind her. Sailor Mercury. Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, Chibi Moon, we have Sailor Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. So pretty. Okay, I only have three items left to show you from my entire Sailor Moon haul from Japan. Whew. Can you believe I was able to fit all this stuff in a suitcase? Yeah, I know. It's it was a lot. <laughs> I, there's even stuff that I brought home for friends that I did not show you in this video because they don't have to do with Sailor Moon or anything, but I I packed a lot of things in my suitcase. I'm very good at Tetrising, I must say so. The Osaka Sailor Moon Museum has these special cookies that you can get. I don't have the box anymore. I ended up unboxing it because it was, it was just, it was taking up room and I was eating them. So I didn't want to keep the box, but these are from a company called Suki Gesho. It is filled with white bean jam and richly includes milk and butter, a Western style manju, which melts smoothly in your mouth. I will show you one of these cookies, but I wanted to show you the box that it comes in first. Now I did not include the box. The box is basically like this kind of theming, but if you got the box, it came in this packaging that features Sailor Moon on the front of it. So what I'm going to do is cut around the border of this and then put it in a folder so that I can keep this piece from the cookies and then just toss the rest of it because I don't, I don't really need the rest of it. Uh, luckily, the expiration date on these, they do last for quite a long time. I think this would be a wonderful gift if you know somebody who likes white bean jam and rich milk and butter. I will remove one of these out of the packaging so you can actually see what it looks like in person, but it's, it's pretty tasty. However, I'm not a big bean jam person. I don't really like bean paste. So for me, I probably would not eat them myself, but I think if somebody is not a big sweet person, if they really like desserts that do have bean paste or bean jams, then they would probably really like this. I just, I'm not a big fan of the texture. But this is what they look like in the packaging. So they are all single package. I believe there's like, there might be six in a box. It says Sailor Moon Museum at the top, has the logo for the brand at the bottom. It's like a collaboration item. Each one is single packaged again. So very easy to gift or give to people. So 
this is what it looks like. This is a little bean paste like cookie item. When you open it, it has the bean paste on the inside of it and it's very, very squishy. It's not chewy really, but it's kind of like melt in your mouth good. So they are really tasty if you like bean paste. And they do seem to last quite a long time too since they are in these this single packaging so they aren't expiring really quickly. You know, I like it a little bit more now than when I tried them in Japan. The white bean paste is a little sweet, but it's definitely not overpowering pretty good. If you are going to the Sailor Moon store and you want to try that dessert, then yeah, grab a box. I mean, they're not too expensive, so it's not a huge waste of money if you don't end up liking them. Plus, you could always gift the rest of the packages to somebody that does like them. Okay, and last but not least, I got the very rare, very hard to get Aurora Sailor Moon Museum posters. There are two of these and they are kind of pricey each plus tax. Plus it was hard to get them home. So <laughs> I was very, very happy that I was able to get these. I ended up getting two of each for myself. And I also purchased extra ones. There was a limit of three per person. So I asked my friend and her husband if they would help me. And I did end up bringing home a bunch of extras, uh, which I am posting on my Sailor Snub Sales Instagram. If they are already posted and sold out, I'm so sorry, depending on how fast I can edit this video. But hopefully you catch them before I post that sales post because they will go very fast. They are so hard to find. So here's the first Aurora post. Poster. This one features Usagi and Mamoru. They are dressed like they are J-pop idols. Like Mamoru does not look like himself. He looks like he belongs in a J-pop boy band. I love the moon behind them. I think it's gorgeous. The way that it just shines with that rainbowy aurora feel to it just looks so beautiful. Let's take a close up look at these two. So here we have Sailor Moon or Usagi in her outfit. I love that her hair is this pinkish color. It's not yellow. So it's kind of like this really light pink color and it matches his shirt. So cute. Her dress is this beautiful like tulle fabric with a whole bunch of little pearls all along. These little items in her hair and that huge necklace that she's wearing are just so, so beautiful. And her shoes are like, bam, gorgeous. There's a whole bunch of little crystals that Naoko put into this art to kind of surround the two characters, which I also thought was beautiful. But okay, look at Mamoru. He looks like he belongs in a J-pop band. Am I right? Am I right or am I right? Like he looks, he looks very cute. Definitely like super attractive for a, a manga character, but like he looks like he belongs in a boy band. It's so pretty. I love this poster so much, but wait until you see this one of Black Lady. Oh my gosh. So, Everybody has seen the classic piece of Black Lady sitting on the floor and like pouring out a glass of wine, right? So this piece is updated from that. It includes very, very similar art, very similar art style that Naoko did. We still have like very similar background. You have all these like creepy black crystals kind of stretching out, exploding from the ground. And then you have Black Lady with this really cool reflection underneath her. What I like most about this piece is not necessarily the background or the reflection or even her like lengthy gorgeous legs. Can we talk about those? But look at her eyes. When I glint these in the light, her eyes glow. That is the coolest part. Her eyes glow. It's so cool. Like what a neat little feature of this poster. Whoever decided to make her eyes glow when they printed it on this material, like, yes, you made the right decision. Her necklace is also really beautiful. So I am very glad that I was able to get these posters because people were charging like $100 per poster on different websites and I thought that was ridiculous. So I'm really happy that I was able to get these and able to get extras too that I can get to people here in the US who are not able to get out to Japan this year for the Sailor Moon Museum because these have not been released online whatsoever. Luckily, when I was at the Osaka store, they were just putting these out from the stock. Like they had piles and piles of them. So hopefully that brings down the aftermarket price of these so that people are purchasing them at a fair price. Oh my gosh, I finally emptied out that entire suitcase. Wow, that took a really long time. Well, I hope that you enjoyed my video today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all these new items that you can currently get from Japan. If you have any questions about how to purchase any of these items, if you have a comment on any of these, if you have an opinion, please feel 
feel free to share those down below. This is a very safe space. You are more than welcome to share your criticisms or opinions on these different items. Just keep it respectful. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm Sailor Snubs over there and Sailor Snubs Sales for my sales page. But Sailor Snubs is the best place to go because that's where you get news, you will get tutorials about how to find this stuff, and I will also be posting some shorter length videos to kind of detail some of these items. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Sayonara. Johnny.